Hello everybody and welcome to another video of uh, Trombone First Aid. Today we are talking about some practicing tips. We all know that time is money, so it's not good to waste it. Whenever we have some time to practice, then we should take uh, the most out of it, because our life is quite full of things to do and also it's good to have time for rest. So uh, the time we decide to spend playing should be quite efficient. Otherwise we get used to be inefficient. The way you lead your practice session depends on actually what you want, what you have to do. It could be practicing new repertoire for the next lesson with your teacher or for a rehearsal with the wind band or preparing an audition for a symphony orchestra. Whatever is your task, you should plan in your mind like a schedule of what you want to do. Uh, so you have to give actually a timing for different kind of exercises or different kind of uh, activities. For example, you have to mm, play uh, two pieces that you already know and you have to read another one. In this case, you may decide, it's just up to you, you may decide to spend 15 minutes in the first concerto you already know, uh, 10 minutes in the second exercise you already know and keeping a good half an hour or 40 minutes for the new piece you have to, to read. In this way you just, just have to check with the clock how much time you spent. This is not something to be really very strict but it's good for you to have an idea of the time running so you can plan better your next uh, practice session. This is really very important because all of us run out of time when you have very important things to do. This way you can build a history of uh, how much time you require for this piece or other piece and then it will be much more efficient. Whenever you have something unexpected you know how much time you, you need to get ready. This is not mathematic but having no idea at all will let you be insecure and not able to plan in advance something important you have to. So having a schedule, quite exact schedule, will help you not waste time uh, in terms of minutes. But what about the quality of the time you spend in your practice session? Most of the time we tend to play and play and play things that we like instead of things that we need to practice. This is a human habit, it's normal, there's no shame on it, but we have to remember that this is not helpful. So better spending more time in what we need than in what we like. Then in the end, if you are maybe ahead of your schedule, you can let yourself, you can treat yourself with something nice, which is, because it's also very, very important to, to get a reward. When it comes about quality, we must talk also about focus. And when it's about focus, it's the goal we want to reach when, when we practice something. Most people play just for playing. This will be the equivalent of building a skyscraper without having any project, without a, just with a sketch, with a handmade sketch. Preparing a musical piece or an orchestral excerpt or a concerto or whatever require, requires you to know what you are doing and to decide what you want. If you have no clear idea in your mind, this cannot come through your instrument and the people will never understand what you really wanted to tell, what you wanted to present them. When we play uh, anything, it's like 
drawing a, or painting or making a sculpture, if the final result is not understandable, is confused, is uh, contradictory, then you cannot, uh, <laughs> you cannot convince anyone of the quality you, you, uh, of your product. So the time you spend, the long time you spend practicing is actually wasted. I recommend any of you to have a very strong plan in your mind, a very strong concept, like a physical model of what you want to obtain with your instrument. It could be a sound, a specific sound, it could be a very nice melodic line, anything you want to transfer to your audience must be very very firm and strong in your head otherwise there is no chance to make it happen like everything we do when we play like articulation dynamic and uh, musical lines everything get filtered by our instrument and by the air between us and the audience in order to be understood completely understood. We need that the source of these ideas is very steady, very solid. From time to time it's also good to exaggerate a bit because sometimes what works in our mind is not enough to reach the audience. For sure if we have nothing in our mind or if you have very foggy plan the final result will never be something satisfying because there is no correspondence between what we do and what we think. So when it comes for practical stuff, if you want to practice articulation, for example, you have to, you have really to imagine, to, to, to hear with the ears of your mind the final result, the final sound with this specific articulation. And then you take it as a model for uh, practicing. This model stands in your mind and then you check if there is correspondence to what you hear from your bell. This is the only way to get a step closer to what you really want. If you have no uh, model in, in your mind, you risk practicing every day in different directions. So you risk not to really progress, but you may just uh, do a bit of that, a bit of that. And in the end, when you need something specific, because maybe the teacher uh, asks you for that or the conductor asks for, for, for that, then you have no tool to make it work. So it's really important that there is a strong correspondence to what you have in your mind and what you can do with your instrument. To build this, it's really important that you, do, you, you insert this in your everyday practice. So there is no day where you just play freely and we like uh, uh, open air uh, wandering. No, it should be always uh, guided by your will, by your thought. Don't just play and whatever. It's very important to have a plan. In your daily practice, you should also try to cover different aspects of playing. So don't just focus on one thing, for example, staccato, and then have no time to play legato at all. It's possible that sometimes you are forced to do this because you are short in time and because you have to prepare something important, that's okay. But the, in a regular basis, it's good to carry on with all the technical problems and all the technical exercises so that you can improve day by day and you can make a step forward day by day. Otherwise, you risk to let something in your back and then uh, the next time you want to face this aspect, you will have to, <laughs> to suffer a lot because uh, you find yourself not really prepared or up to date. 
we should always prefer uh, quality over quantity. This is uh, in general, but especially when we talk about uh, practicing time, the important thing is to really focus and to really um, think about what we want to achieve. Otherwise, we get used to this habit and then we keep doing the same whenever we play. This is common. This is something that uh, we should train. Also focusing is uh, like a muscle. It has to be trained. Otherwise, we lose the ability of focusing. Practicing should never be considered something passive, like I have to do that or oh, I'm looking forward to the end of the session. If it's like this, better to just don't practice because this attitude will affect in a negative way our final result. And then if we do it, if you do like this quite often, we will start really not liking our time for uh, taking care of technical aspects. Actually, practicing in time is very useful and can be an opportunity for pleasant improvement. So we can, we should actually use nice music that we like to uh, improve our technical uh, aspects. We should introduce in our practice some music that we really like and uh, not just to have fun, to have uh, pleasure, but together with the pleasure we can add a goal which is very useful for, for us. For example, if you like a very nice song, just play it thinking about different articulation or thinking about uh, oh, maybe I can play it one fifth higher or lower or uh, legato instead of staccato. So just play with possibilities while you enjoy making the music that you like. Practicing time is really important because it's something for ourselves. Uh, when we go playing with the orchestra or wind band, then we have to work together with other people and mostly at the point the effort is to be a group, to build something together. So there is no time and no energy to focus on yourself. So the practice time you have is the only moment where you can really spend all the energy in yourself. So it's kind of precious. Whenever we play together with other people, then our energy is spent to blend with the other. So next time you go to practice, think about all this and uh, I hope it will be more enjoyable and you will look at the watch in the end and ah, it's already past two hours. So when you are very focused and when you have a plan, you will see that everything will go like on a rail and in the end you will get more of what you want. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please thumb up and uh, subscribe my channel. If you have any comment or question, just write it down below. Thank you again for watching and have a nice day.